After a new documentary aired here on THV 11 and across the state, hundreds of new leads have poured in about the disappearance of Morgan Nick. And tonight we keep the momentum going as THV 11's Jordan Howington shows us why investigators say now is not the time to stop talking about Morgan's story. Morgan, she, she needs to come home. The Alma community, the state of Arkansas, have wondered about Morgan Nick. Where is she? Who took her? The bleachers would have been over here. That's where Colleen was sitting. Um, you know, we would actually be standing on the ball field. Morgan disappeared here, now a parking lot, but in June 1995, a little league baseball field where Morgan and her mom, Colleen, were cheering on family friends at a late night game. Police Chief Jeff Pointer brought me here, showing that up this hill, just feet from her mother, that's where someone abducted Morgan after playing with a group of friends. The main thing I remember is, is just thinking that, that she would be back home, you know, like the next day or the next morning. Instead, the investigation has been a roller coaster, lingering now for 26 years. But something new came to the public's attention. In the still missing Morgan documentary, investigators revealed a red truck with a white camper shell. This is what they now have their eyes set on. Here it is. Alma police say it could be linked to Morgan's disappearance. And they want to know who was behind the wheel the night Morgan was abducted. Morgan would be the very last person I would have ever thought this could happen to. Someone who knew the six-year-old well, Jerry Emmerich, Morgan's kindergarten teacher. She has her own theories, believing there's no way Morgan knew her abductor. But that's not something police have confirmed. When we went on a field trip, she stayed near me. Um, she wouldn't talk to strangers. She was kind of quiet. She had to get to know you before she really interacted with you a lot. Miss Jerry, as Morgan called her, still can't fathom that night. How does that make you feel as someone who had just taught her? I feel like one of my kids is missing as well. And, and I can't imagine what Colleen must, must go through. Though the heartache from the unknown runs deep, Emmerich clings to these little memories, a book Morgan gave her, and this homemade ornament with the original hot glue seeping through the sides. My hope is that she is still alive. I... At, at the beginning, I felt better about that. Investigators say with this momentum, people sharing Morgan's story, they believe they'll soon get answers. The exposure the case is getting right now and the type of leads we're getting, uh, we just feel that, that we're close to, to solving the case. Closer than the department has ever been. We're just asking them to pick up the phone and call us, you know. Uh, you know, someone has the answers that we need, uh, and we need their help. Every lead, nearly 300 new ones just this month, are sifted through carefully. They still need your help. Detectives are missing that one piece to the puzzle, that piece that could change everything for the ones like Miss Jerry, who miss Morgan the most. Colleen deserves that. Um, she will keep looking for Morgan until she finds her or until she draws her last breath. What would you say to her? Miss Jerry loved you then, Morgan, and Miss Jerry loves you now. In Alma, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. Mm. If you know anything about Morgan Nick's disappearance, including who may have been driving that red truck, you are asked to contact the Alma Police Department. You can text Morgan to 501-376-1111 for a link to our coverage.